Hi, my name is Trissa with Sewing and Things, and in this video I'm going to show you how to sew elastic directly to your bummies. To start off, there are a few different types of elastics, so your elastic measurement is really going to depend on the type of elastic that you are using, since all elastic has different stretch and recovery. So I have three different elastics that I'm going to show you really quick. Um, this is kind of a waistband type elastic. You can use this for um, like for if you want this to directly be touching your skin but you can see that it the stretch and recovery of this. And then there's this type of elastic. It's a lot has a lot firmer stretch and recovery. And then this is another kind of one inch elastic. You can kind of see that. And then you can stretch and recovery. This one's a little bit thinner. So the just keep in mind that the elastic measurements in the pattern are more of a reference. Um, so you may need to shorten or lengthen them depending on the type of elastic that you are using. And a lot of it's per preference. I like elastic that's more so like this last one I showed you that has a little bit um, softer stretch and recovery. Um, I feel like I get a little bit longer wear with stuff like that. Um, elastic like this one, like this, it's a lot tighter stretch and recovery so I feel like it's a little it snugs a little bit more. But, but yeah, um, so once you have your elastic and all your bummies basically sewed together, um, I'll show you how to, how I put the elastic on the top. To serge your elastic on, instead of doing the elastic casing, you'll start off with your bummies sewn and then your elastic sewn in the round. If you want, you can trim off a quarter of an inch all the way around since you, when you fold down the elastic, you fold it down by one and a quarter inch to make the casing. But in this case, we're going to be sewing the elastic directly to the edge and folding it down so you can remove that quarter of an inch allowance. Um, so once that's all sewn, go ahead and grab your pins and we're going to mark the quarter points of both the elastic and the bummies. For these bummies, the side seam is not a quarter point. For my elastic, I like to mark it with a pin instead of with a pin. Um, so I will go ahead and do that. Once both are marked, go ahead and match up your um, pins in your waistband together. So once that's done, you can do a few things. You can either go to your sewing machine and baste this on. It makes it a little bit easier, in my opinion, before you serge it or you can go straight to your machine and serge it right on. However, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and baste this elastic on because it'll give me a little bit more control on my phone.
Once that is all basted on, go ahead and take that to your serger and we'll just, uh, you want to pull it tight so um, the fabric is not puckering at all um, and your elastic is taut and just serge all the way around the edge without, um, with your knife disengaged. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. So once that's all done, you're going to fold your elastic down and then put pins or clips all the way around. I like to start at around the quarter points of it. Make sure your elastic is nice and taut inside of there. Once you have your quarter points, you can stretch it and add a few more pins or clips if you would like. Now, once that's done, you can either go to your sewing machine and sew with a zigzag stitch or straight stitch since it is being stretched you should be fine with a straight stitch on your sewing machine to top stitch or you can use your cover stitch the only thing is you want to make sure that you are stretching stretching it as you're sewing to make sure that um, your fabric isn't bunched up like this you don't want to sew it straight like this you want to sew it stretched as you go or you can use your cover stitch and stitch close to the bottom edge. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. To stay up to date on the latest videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel or you can check out my blog at sewingandthings.com.